D, wait for it. Light bulb. I got the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And have I got a story for you. Now, also down below, you can find the articles that I read to bring you this story. And you can uh, read them for yourself, come up with your own opinion. Or you can just listen to this video where I kind of break them all down for you. And then go about your day and everything. Um, before I get started on these three stories, though, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine normally get pushed to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share and subscribe. And I thank you in advance. So why don't we go ahead and get started? Um, it looks like Brendan Fraser is joining the cast of uh, Batgirl. Um, now, uh, if you don't know, Batgirl is an upcoming 2022 movie set uh, for the DC Extended Universe, but it will be on HBO Max. Um, it will uh, premiere on there. And uh, Walter Amata said a little while ago, I don't remember exactly when, but he did say that Bad Girl would be, uh, they're going to do four uh, experimental movies on made for HBO Max and uh, things like Blue Beetle and Bad Girl uh, will be uh, two of them. I can't, I think there's more, but I can't remember off the top of my head, but you know, whatever. So uh, now this movie stars Leslie Grace as Barbara Gordon, a.k.a. Batgirl. Um, now uh, she was on, we'll get to Brendan Fraser in just two seconds. I want to explain the movie. So she was on um, In the Heights. In the Heights didn't do so well. Uh, she was okay in the movie. Um, I wouldn't have picked her to be Batgirl, but you know, whatever. Um, J.K. Simmons is going to be returning as Commissioner Gordon, which is great. I love J.K. Simmons. Um, and then uh, 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 Jacob uh, Scipio is going to be on there, but they haven't told us who his, his character is. Now, the directors for this movie are uh, the directors of Bad Boys 3, and that's Adil L. Arby and Bilala Fala. Um, I hope I said their names right. If I didn't, please don't get mad at me. Um, and then the writer on this is Christina Hodson. And if you remember her, she wrote Birds of Prey and Bumblebee. Now, I have to say, and she's writing the, uh, or she at least wrote the first draft for this upcoming Flash movie. Now, I have to say, as far as directors go, great. Uh, Bad Boys for Life 3 was excellent, in my opinion. I really enjoyed it. You know, it was just kind of fun, very action-packed, and I love that whole franchise. You know, that's from my younger days, those first two movies. So that movie, I felt like, held up to the first two and was just fantastic, in my opinion. Um, as far as Brendan Fraser go, well, the biggest concern for me is Christina Hodson. She's a shit writer. Uh, Birds of Prey was a hot mess, in my opinion. I mean, there were things that I liked about it, but I do not think that Christina Hodson knows or understands any of these characters. If she's read a comic book, I, I need proof because I don't believe her at all. And I just think she's uh, she's just a shit writer. Bumblebee was was also, in my opinion, a hot mess. Now, as far as Leslie Grace goes, good for her. I don't wish anything. I don't wish anything against these people. It's just I don't know if they chose the best people for this job. Um, yeah, um, but I'm. They said you're gonna have. They're gonna have. She's gonna have the bat suit. Which bat suit? I don't know. She's gonna have the cowl and everything. They also said she's gonna have red hair. Which, um, me personally, listen. When it comes to characters from comic books, I I don't care if they gender swap or if they race swap. Uh, but the costume has to come out of the comic books. Now, granted, Batgirl has a plethora of costumes that they can pick from. Personally, I enjoy the black and yellow one. Um, I know some people might enjoy that purple and yellow one. Um, uh, I'm really happy that they're doing the cowl and the red hair. Those are iconic to Batgirl. Um, and I really just, that's, that's personally what I want. Um, if they do the newer iteration, I won't be upset about it, but it's not my favorite one. Uh, but yeah, now let's get to Brendan for, sorry, I took too long to, to say that all that's nonsense, but let's get to Brendan Frazier. Now, a uh, Frazier, Frazier. Now he is the latest, um, the latest uh, casting for this. And let me just tell you right now, I love Brendan Fraser. He is from my childhood. He was huge during the, uh, you know, the early, the nineties and then the early two uh, thousands as a leading man. And you may remember her, remember him from the mummy, um, the mummy franchise uh, where he was great. He was also, and he's, and the thing about him, and I feel bad about saying this is he's kind of let himself go a little bit, uh, which sucks 
but what are you going to do? You know, uh, the guy's older, you know, as an older person, I'm not as skinny. Uh, um, if you believe it or not, I used to be a whopping 95 pounds. I know. Right. But, uh, yeah, he also is in doom patrol, which is on HBO max. And let me just tell you right now, he plays robot man, the best. I love his character. It's my second favorite character on the show right behind Rita far. Uh, but he's just great. And he makes me laugh pretty much every episode. I just love his character and I love Brendan Fraser. And I'm really happy they cast him as, sorry, I should get to, <laughs> to his character. So he has been cast as firefly. Now who is firefly? Firefly is, he doesn't have any, any powers. Um, as far as that goes in the DC universe, but he's basically a, uh, a pyromania, uh, pyromaniac. Like he, he sets fires, um, and he usually wears like, like an armor and wings. Uh, but he just, uh, has usually has a flamethrower and his alter ego is Garfield, uh, lens. And he was, uh, injured and he has like burns on his body. Now, this character has made an appearance in live action before. This isn't his first one. Um, but he uh, he did make an appearance on, um, uh, oh gosh, what's it called? Um, ooh, on Arrow, sorry, where he in, was in the first season. And uh, that one was okay. It wasn't my favorite adaptation of him, but it was like, whatever. And then also made an appearance on Gotham where they uh, uh, gender bent it. And it was played by a woman. And that one was all right too. Um, he's also been in plenty of iterations animation wise. And he's also been um, in the video games. He was in um, uh, the Arkham games, I believe. Uh, as uh, I don't really play those games, so I don't really know. But yeah, he, I believe he was in the Arkham games also. So, so yeah, so that is so good for Brendan Fraser. I, I I wish him nothing but the best. I'm really happy for him. He deserves it. I think he's great, and I can't wait to see him uh, as as uh, Firefly as the villain Firefly. Tell me, what do you guys think about this? How do you guys feel about Ben Brendan Fraser joining uh, Fire uh, as Firefly in the new Batgirl movie? Are you guys excited about that? Not excited about that? Do you think this is a good villain to choose from uh, Batman's uh, Rogues Gallery, or do you think they should have went with a a more traditional Batgirl villain? Again, go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know I won't mind if you're new to my channel. Please hit that subscribe button; I'd greatly appreciate it. I will see you guys next week. You guys have a good week. Bye.